All right, guys, welcome to this first mailbag. And today, uh, the topic of this mailbag, or the title of this mailbag, is going to be what the questions tell you beyond the words. So a lot of times when people ask me a question, right, they just want to know some information. If you tell them, it's going to help them. But more often than not, there's actually something beyond the words. Uh, what their question is communicating to me is there's a certain bandwidth uh, available to them. Right? I've used the word energy interchangeably. Let's actually go to, to the definition so it doesn't get too crazy here. Okay, so if you go to the Oxford languages, the first definition of bandwidth is related to like internet, right? We all, we're all familiar with that. Now, the reason why that word is used for the internet is because the second definition uh, is the energy or mental capacity required to deal with a situation. Okay, now this makes a lot more sense. So if someone is asking a question and they have limited bandwidth, if I gave them a nuanced answer, they don't have enough bandwidth in that moment to actually process and really get what I'm trying to communicate with them. This isn't actually a intelligence issue. Uh, everyone actually has essentially unlimited capacity uh, from societal programming, just patterns that you're used to doing. People are actually limiting themselves a lot almost every time they don't realize it, okay? I'm actually gonna go over some questions so you can start getting a sense of this, but I want you guys to understand when I use the word bandwidth or energy, I even uh, talked about it in one of the coaching videos or mentoring videos uh, I released before, this is what I'm talking about. So if someone asks a question, the bandwidth is there, and then the question they asked is on par with their bandwidth, I'll just answer it. But a lot of times, and this is a frustration, they'll ask a question what I really like, what I know is what I could really help them with is if I could help them expand their bandwidth, the question will answer itself, right? So I think a lot of us have heard, have, uh, heard this quote before from Einstein you can't solve a problem at the paradigm that it was created, right? And if you think, par if you substitute paradigm for bandwidth, if you expand the bandwidth, automatically the person will realize whatever solution. And actually, the, even the question they had uh, that needed answer probably doesn't even need answering at a higher bandwidth, okay? So when, and if you really get this, this could be one of the most important videos you watch in your life. Uh, the way to actually expand bandwidth is to start noticing and acknowledging how much bandwidth you have currently, okay? So as we go over these different questions, what I want you to get a sense is one, how much bandwidth does this person have? and once you start recognizing that, hopefully it could help you recognize how much bandwidth you have in different parts of life. One of the reasons why I decided to use video game as a way to do this is because when we get to video games, there isn't a lot of block for people. So if you're watching, if I mentioned, say, relationship and intimacy, how much bandwidth is there versus, say, business and finance? What about health? Uh, what about fulfilling your purpose in life, right? A lot of times, a lot of those things, people automatically go to a certain bandwidth, whereas when I'm talking about it in the context of a video game, all of a sudden I could get away with a lot more, right? What if I'm talking about diet and nutrition, exercise, um, your image of your body, right? So video game is a great way to actually talk about these concepts without having to deal with a lot of the blocks that people have, okay? So if you have more, the, the basically, if you have more bandwidth, then you're able to process more data. And a lot of times when you have more bandwidth, the story or how something even occurs to you shifts. If you go to my YouTube channel, uh, on the channel banner page, it says, uh, we don't see the world as it is, we see it as we are. That's what I'm actually referring to, okay? So let's actually go to the very first question, if you will. Someone messages me and just goes, hi, okay? Now before I continue, I want you to get a sense how much bandwidth is in there. It's actually very low, it feels stifling. And in my experience, for the most part, even if the person asks the question, it's not gonna be what they want, right? Usually when someone sends this, uh, the pattern I notice is there's a lack of self-esteem or self-worth, and there's not even enough bandwidth there to engage and provide something, right? So when they send this, what do I think? Uh, do I say hi back, what's up? or do I just wanna ignore them, right? You can imagine, you know, since over 99% of this channel uh, is men, uh, if you're sending this text to a woman, right, who gets bombarded a lot, how do they actually feel and how would they experience this? Okay, this is very common. Uh, this is probably the lowest energy uh, or bandwidth text you could send. Because even if someone sends it, and be like, hey, you know what? 
your content sucks. I don't agree with anything you say. Uh, you should actually check yourself because you make crappy content and you're, you are not as smart as you think, right? Even that actually has more bandwidth than this. Okay, and this is actually a kind of text or um, message I get fairly common. And uh, if you are watching this, you have sent this before, one thing that could help you out is to notice where, how much bandwidth is available uh, when you are sending this, okay? Uh, by the way, <clears throat> the most surefire way to actually expand your bandwidth is to start noticing in this moment right now how much bandwidth is available. Because as soon as there is enough of a you that can notice and process how much bandwidth is available, all of a sudden something else opens up, okay? Uh, if you guys are interested in reading books and finding out more about this, like uh, like Eckhart Tolle, so like a book like The Power of Now is really good. Uh, it's a little older, I think, maybe uh, not that old, written in the 90s or early 2000s. Uh, another one is Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, right? Uh, meditation, awareness, the whole idea of meditation, awareness, and all these things is that you're actually starting to notice your ability to notice, okay? So a little bit higher energy is someone that messages and goes, hi, can I ask a question? Like you already asked the question and you're still asking a question. Uh, so I'm Chinese, right? So in Mandarin Chinese, a saying that we have is, uh, you're taking off your pants to fart. You know, it's like just doing something that's unnecessary or like an extra step. And this is actually along the same, a little bit more bandwidth and just saying hi, but it's actually still a reflection. Usually when someone sends this, uh, they, the self-worth isn't very high. And I don't want you so much fixate on the story of the self-worth. It's that there's actually a certain amount of bandwidth available, right? So then what, I'm gonna, what am I gonna respond? Yes, you can ask a question. And then, but if they're in this bandwidth, whatever the question they ask, uh, even if I answer exactly whatever they ask, it won't really make a difference or really help them, okay? So in this case, if I can, I had more time, if I can help them notice how much bandwidth they have, it will actually make a huge difference for them. This next one, uh, I pulled from YouTube. Again, I'm communicating this as a friend, right? It's not to make fun of someone, but if you read this, there's a lot of information here, right? Um, if you get confused or you're overwhelmed, don't worry, you're not alone. There's a lot of information here. They're throwing out a lot of keywords. Oh, I'm getting this person from the legendary caverns. I'm gonna choose four. Uh, I mean, on the next infantry, we are going to spend a hundred spends, all this stuff. And if you go all the way to the bottom, can you give me some advice? Okay. I just want you to kind of get a sense of how much bandwidth is available here. So this one, it's a pretty classical case of someone that overthinks. If I gave you another example, I don't know if this, I don't know this person, but if you, <clears throat> I'm going to give an analogy, right? If you have this person talk about, say, like dating. They're going to start planning. They're going to make this move and that move and that move. They're still going to project like 20, 30, 40 steps ahead before even asking the person out on a date or going on a date, right? There, there's all these things they're going to plan out or uh, we're going to start a business, right? Their business plan is going to get in all into the weeds of a bunch of different stuff. Whereas what will really help this person is actually just to ground down. Hey, what's the next step you're going to take? Okay, so right now there's all the stuff that you're thinking about. What is the one thing you want to focus on? All right. Or another way to help this person is, okay, let's actually hone down your question. What is it that you really want to know? Like just if you have to pick the one thing that will kind of capture all of this that you really want to know, this will actually help ground the person. And then when they, if they are a, able to come up with a question, you'll even notice the bandwidth is a little different. Okay. Now I want you to compare this question to this next one. So hi, I have a question, please. I have YSG expertise and I need a primary for him. Should I go with Herman Prine or Zuki Leung? Right, very clear. I have YSG, should I go with option A or option B? Uh, or should I expertise Zuki Leung and then do 5551 Herman? Also, some good information, I have a thousand gold head. Right, so something else, if I got this question I wanna know is, okay, well, right now, how many marches are you running? Right, what other commanders do you have? Because for example, uh, if they don't have any other commander, so let's just say they just got to uh, KVK3, right? And they have YSG and they're trying to figure out what to do. I'll be like, okay, uh, I would just get 
I'm, I'm just making this up, Herman to 5511, and I would actually look into maybe getting into Luce at first. But if they already have infantry, then I would actually tell them, hey, at this point, just focus on Herman, Zuge, get Herman to 5511, Zuge Lando 5511, then get Herman Prime to 5551. But by the time both Herman and ZL is at 5511, you could use them. And then you want to actually expertise Zuke Leon before Hermit, right? I, I could give them a little more for information. But for here, this question, the information or the data they're asking for actually matches the bandwidth. So if I answer it, they can actually receive it and it will really help them. Okay. Uh, we kind of went deviated a little bit from like the game, but this is actually the intention of this channel is to use the context of gaming to help present these con uh, present these live concepts that I think could really help people. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, the email is in the channel page. If you send an email to me to ask a question, I want to help you. Okay, so I'll actually, it, like there's a, even if I don't answer your question directly, if there's enough of them, I'll at least use a similar example to help you. A lot of times when I'm posting this, it's not to make fun of someone, obviously. It's actually to present something so, cause I want, it, it is frustrating when you know what could help someone, but if you just text it back or uh, 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 you try to present this say in text form, it won't land in the same way. So if you do have any questions, please uh, email it to me or leave in the comments. I prefer if you email it to me. Uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to the channel. Obviously it's a newer channel, but I do have two channels. So my gaming channel is gonna be 44 Bus Driver. And this channel that you're watching it on is called Quan's Gaming Mentoring. And hopefully this video also kind of gives you a sense of what I'm trying to accomplish with this channel and why I did start a second channel, even though it's still related to Rise of Kingdoms for now, it's actually very different from just a straight gaming channel where we're talking about concepts and things like that. Again, thank you for watching and uh, talk to you guys next time.